All right, welcome to day two of South Park and Society. Hope you're doing well. It is the real Dr. Dre coming to you directly from Goat's Beard Homestead here in the Lorraine Valley in Eugene. Uh, disclaimer, um, I went some Texas Chainsaw Massacre on some trees up in here and burning stuff and I got hit with some poison oak. So like if you see me itching at my neck, my ears, my hands, my legs, just itching. Uh, it's because I am in excruciating annoyance right now. But anyways, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to do this for you. You've made it to day two, so uh, congratulations. I appreciate you checking out the vids, and we'll try to make them as, as painless as possible, but you know, uh, pain is only weakness leaving the body. So suffering through these YouTube videos um, will make you stronger and tougher on the tail end of this spring term. Anyways, today uh, we're going to talk about making shitty cartoons in the TV industry. Um, and uh, we're going to watch a short, not really a short, uh, a 40 minute uh, documentary uh, called Six Days to Air, which, is, you know, kind of goes uh, below the labor of making an episode of South Park, which is basically why Every year, uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone say they, they don't want to do it again. Um, and it gets a little bit into that. But we're going to talk a lot about like the TV industry today, how the TV industry works, and uh, things like that. And then we'll also uh, talk a little bit about the history of South Park, uh, go through some chapters uh, from Blame Canada. And then we'll move on to more specific topics uh, next, next week. But we'll get into a little bit of theory of like carnivalesque, uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, because it is talked about in, in the book. But that will be like a main part of what we, get, what we get into during this term. So I hope you're doing well. Cheers. <sighs> Anyways, um, cool. So... Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to set it off. We're going to watch Six Days of Air. Um, so you want to find this on Hulu or online somehow, some way, um, and you can do it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, basically, this gets into the behind the making of the Human Scent iPad, which is, you know, not a, the greatest episode, but it's also a pretty, pretty decent episode. Um, and I think, like... What, some of the things that I want you to look, look for is, is creative labor. Like, what is the actual work that goes into making um, an animated cartoon every, every week with six, six days to essentially write it, record the audio, right? Uh, make, make, make the animatics, do, all, do, do, do the whole process, you know? Um, you know, I think that's important. So look at the labor in, involved in making this. And not just Trey and Matt, not just the writer's room, but like, you know, everybody below, down below that. Even Anne, who's working in like standards and practices, um, to, you know, everybody who's, who's doing the editing, all, all that stuff. Um, I want you to look at the, the writing process, just sort of the creative process in making an episode like this and, and noting sort of the, the collaborative elements of it because I think, I think that's, that's very important. And I also want you to note too, like the self-sufficiency of it. Like, you know, as we'll kind of get into, like Trey and Matt own South Park Studios, Parker Stone Studios, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, they make the episodes on contract and basically part of that contract is they give them to um you know uh, uh comedy central but the interesting part is that um they split all of the online uh revenues uh with comcast so it's a pretty unusual situation so that big hbo max deal that they just got for all the streaming rights you know almost uh i think a half a billion dollars they're gonna get half of that and split half of that it's pretty it's pretty pretty epic um but yeah i want you to look at also the element of standards and practices where you have ann talking about you know the various ways and how they poop in one another's mouths and stuff and stuff like that but standards and practices is an important um department at any cable network or dealing with any any cable network um, basically cable as we'll learn as we get into the term when we talk about um, profanity and obscenity and censorship um, cable networks aren't held to the same um, uh, content 
I guess the content, uh, uh, you know, rigors and, and rules of network uh, television. So in fact, you can swear anytime you want on cable television. Um, you can have, um, you know, uh, content about, you know, excretion and defecation and all, all that stuff. Um, I just said defecation. I, I just finished watching uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, uh, the newest season. It was just brilliant. Um, a a anyways, um, uh, you can kind of run whatever you want on cable because they're not held to the same standards, but it's like, <clears throat> um, you know, you want to sell ads and, you know, Coca-Cola is not going to run an ad if you're saying fuck and talking about like shitting and showing shitting uh, all the time. Um, they're not going to want to run ads. That's why you get South Park episodes that are uncensored uh, later in the evening, like real late night overnight, and all the ads are like, you know, like, you know, you know, call in and talk to girls ads or whatever, you know, whatever, like, you know, infomercials bullshit, you know, but the major brands, they don't want to advertise, um, you know, if the content's going to be so, so lewd because it's just not a good look, look for them. So standards and practices kind of deals with all these elements of the morality of, of, of content on, on cable networks, uh, legal, and then sort of, you know, dealing with, you know, program content and censorship. So you'll, you'll see an element of that. Uh, look at the animation labor, just like how um, animation is, is made. And, and it's a, you know, pretty, it's a very different process, obviously, than, um, you know, any sort of live, um, con any sort of, you know, live action content. So just pay attention to that. Look at the technology they use and their reliance on technology. I mean, we'll see the history here and we'll see how they go from cardboard cutouts um, to this, you know, new, new technologies. Also pay attention to how they think of celebrities. They kind of get into um, this at one point in the documentary, their feeling on celebrities. Although, you know, Trey and Matt are celebrities themselves, they also fucking hate celebrities. Um, so, and as you can see in a lot of their episodes, uh, that, ma that manifests. And I think the important thing too is also look at like, you know, I don't know, like some of y'all are probably big fans of South Park. Some of y'all maybe are indifferent. Um, some of y'all maybe think it's like always great or some of y'all may think like, man, they, they really like fuck up a ton and really have like a lot of problematic content. Um, but for the people who are like, oh, you know, like they, they fetishize and put it on a, a pedestal and really love, really love the show. It's important to kind of like break that down and look, look, look under the layers and peel back the layers. So kind of look at how all that uh, happens. So enjoy six days to air. All right, you got to find it. Uh, you should have your Hulu membership or you can use the internet and find, you know, Russian or Chinese, uh, maybe not even Chinese anymore, but uh, uh, Russian or whatever, just stations that have stuff. Um, but you should be on that Hulu shit. So anyways, we'll be back in about 45 minutes. So press play on that. If I can find a, an online torrent file of it, I'll grab it and post it as well because you know how we do. But I uh, hope you're well, stay clean, stay healthy, stay sane, um, and uh, someday we'll see you, all right? We may set up some Zoom shit so we can just chat, you know, uh, share a drink, have like a happy hour, what whatever. So, um, yeah, peace.